Good morning. Um, I'm sorry that my voice is raspy, but I wanted to share something that's very interesting. Um, <clears throat> so, in the recent message from the Lord to Mandy yesterday, um, I was reading it and this morning, and um, I felt in my spirit that I should... Um, start at the last verse and do the math of the verses and the book numbers. And this is so cool, you guys, because, I mean, our God is a God of numbers and this, the message within the numbers is, is pretty cool. Just watch. So... <clears throat> You can look at her message or listen to it, um, but I'm not going to go through all the verses. I'm just going to say exactly from the last verse, the math going backwards of the verse numbers and the book numbers up all the way to the first verse. So the last verse is 717, gather, pluck up, and it also means Armageddon. When the nukes go up, we go up. Um, then it says, 23rd year. And then it says, 6th month, 4th day. On the 43rd day from true resurrection, which we found and counted, and he had told us, he had told us um, to count from his true resurrection date that we had put together from everything um, and to not count the Sabbath, each Sabbath. And so um, that is the 43rd, if you count it, how he told us to. And then it says 225, which means to meet the bridegroom, sorry, I'm shaking, <laughs> um, to meet the bridegroom, to meet Jesus is 225 in Strong's, and then it says, <laughs> then it says 1853, remember that time, 1853, and it says the other time, 1838. Um, and then it says again, 43rd day, 23rd year, 4th day of the 6th month, 7 to 6. Rapture, Harpazo. I'm not saying that it's, I'm not saying that tomorrow's the date. But I'm saying that I was led in my spirit to do this math. And this is what I found on his message yesterday. <clears throat> and, like, truly, God, you, I mean, you would have to be so rebellious and not, or, and grieving the Holy Spirit to think that. I could make this up or that Mandy could do this like that truly is God I mean so many people receive the confirmations I mean I don't know I'm not saying it's tomorrow but um, he led me in my spirit to, to do this and um, that's what it says also the the 225 we we read you know in America we read right to left but God reads left, uh, sorry, we read left to right, but God reads right to left. Um, and so the 522 um, tomorrow happens to be the date of 522 in Enoch's calendar, <laughs> apparently. Um, and Wow, you guys, this is like, I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing. Um, I don't care. 
I don't care what man thinks. I only care what God thinks. I don't fear man. I fear God. And um, I love you guys in Christ. We shall see. God bless. If you don't have Jesus, please call on him today. Um, and if you don't understand um, how to truly be saved, um, leave a comment and I would love to help you and pray for you. God bless. A sack of what looked like berries and um, tomorrow happens to be a full moon called the strawberry moon. Um, tomorrow also um, Jess pointed out that um, the uh, Mars, which represents the Antichrist baby, in the um, is in the crib currently. The crab, Cancer crab, <clears throat> in the beehive stars, and he leaves the crib tomorrow. And also the, um, the Venus represents us, the Bride of Christ, and that leaves um, the twin that holds the sickle. Um, which represents Jesus holding the sickle. Um, so those are really cool too. And Cassie also, um, she mentioned to me that uh, five five two two tomorrow tomorrow is five two two on Enoch's calendar. So it's pretty pretty cool stuff. Um, again, I'm just sharing. I'm not. Claiming. I'm just sharing. God bless.